Hello, you're very welcome to my video. Roisin Curie here, and I'm going to share with you five of my favorite travel brushes. The first one is the Rosemary & Co. Limited Edition Squirrel Mop. Number two is the Rosemary & Co. Or 19 Red Dot Size 12 Pointed Round. Number three, the Or 13 Sable Blend Size 8 Pointed Round. Number four, the Or 4 Red Dot One Stroke. And number five is the Kalinsky Sable by Roman Schmal. And I think it's about a size 10. So of the five brushes, the first four are all by Rosemary & Co. And the last one is by Roman Schmal. And here's what they look like when they're closed. Very handy indeed. Well, I always like to start a video with a drawing of whatever it is I'm going to show you and talk to you about. Now, you're not really interested in the drawing part of this video. So I've sped it up a little bit. So we end up with a nice picture of a brush. That was the limited edition Squirrel Mop Travel Brush. The next one is the Aura 19 Pocket Red Dot Collection Pointed Round Size 12. And Rosemary says that these brushes are all 100% synthetic, vegan friendly and economically priced. Well, the Aura 19 is brand new to me, but this next one is a brush I've had for about six years now and I absolutely love it. It's my go-to brush and it's the OR13 Pocket Sable Blend Designer Pointed Size 8 and it's fantastically useful. Oh and by the way if you've never used a travel brush the little lid for the brush also acts as the handle so the business end fits into the handle and it's very very useful very convenient and it protects the brush when you're out and about traveling. So now I'm going to use each brush to paint each brush, if you get what I'm trying to say. And this limited edition squirrel mop, it has a little wooden bit. The ferrule is wood, which is very cute. And this is the first time I've used this brush ever. So it's only just been swashed about in water for the very first time. And painting something this tiny doesn't really give you a good idea of how the brush behaves. We'll need to do something a little bit bigger to get a feel for it. But meanwhile, I'm painting a line, this nice little burnt umber line with the brush. And that's it. That's if you lean heavily on the on the brush. And this is if you lean gently. And it's really nice. OK, time for the second one. This has been painted with the OR19. Just painting some very thin lines to show the silveriness along the metal ferrule. And certainly I can say to you that the, the brush has got a very nice point, very springy and it does exactly what you want. And if you do have a good brush, even a size 12 can do a really thin line. And I think people sometimes make the mistake of thinking that a big brush can't do a fine line, but of course it can if it's a good brush. And here's the OR13. Now this brush is quite old. I've been using it for six years and it has painted many many sketches. Couldn't possibly tell you how many, but I can tell you that it has single-handedly been responsible for filling probably about two dozen sketchbooks. While I'm drawing these little boxes that I'm going to use to try out those three brushes and show you how they perform, I would just like to tell you that the Rosemary & Co. OR13 brush has been my go-to brush just for so long. And in fact, my entire book, Dublin in Sketches and Stories, was done with that brush and one other that I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so trying out the brushes, this is the limited edition Squirrel Mop, size eight. And the color I'm using is Deep Sea Violet by Schmincke. I cut off the top there again by accident. But anyway, here is a slightly bigger area. And I really like how this brush performs. It holds loads of liquid because it's 100% natural. Now this one is vegan. This is the OR19 and it's the size 12. And it is a fatter brush. It's a jumbo size in a slightly larger case. And you can see the difference straight away. It does not hold the same amount of liquid as the natural hair. But it is a very competent brush. It's a very competent brush and it does the job 
nicely, as does the OR13. I don't know if you can tell the difference. The OR13 is between the all natural of the limited edition squirrel mop and the all vegan, all synthetic OR19 red dot brush. So this OR13 is sold as having a good balance between holding lots of liquid, the sable element, and keeping its springiness and its point, the synthetic element. That's what the line looks like when you make a line with the OR13. I love the OR13. I'm definitely due a new one though, because whilst I've had six years of use out of it, I am in need of a new one because eventually the tips start to wear away, no matter how wonderful your brush is. Now this next brush is one of my very favorites. This is the only brush that I'm reviewing in this video that isn't made by Rosemary. This one is made by Roman Schmal in Poland and it's Kalinsky Sable. And what's amazing about this brush is that it being fully natural, it holds loads of liquid. It does mean that you lose a little bit of precision with the point because it's so sloppy. Oh, who's this? Well, this is Reuben. This is my terrier. As you can see, he's got temptingly long fur. He's been out in the rain, so he's looking a bit bedraggled. And I'm just wondering, what if Reuben's fur could be harvested? Because I have to snip his fur periodically anyway to keep him looking nice and neat. Okay, well, let's move on quickly from that because Ruben will get upset. So this is my last rosemary brush that I have at the moment. This is called a one stroke. It's the red dot collection as well. It's an OR4. So like the OR19, it's 100% vegan and it's got a flat tip. And I don't use this brush very often, I'll be honest with you. But you know what, in using it just to make this video, I suddenly thought, I rather like how this brush performs. And what's nice about it is that you can use it on the flat side and have, well, a flat stroke. Like so. Or you can use it on the edge and have a very thin line. I like it, it's nice. This is the Roman Schmal Kolinsky Sable. It's got an I because that's how he spells it. Well, I'm writing size small and putting a little arrow next to Ruben, but that's just kind of silly because, you know, I'm not going to make a brush out of him. Okay, here is how the two remaining brushes look. This is the Roman Schmal Kolinsky Sable. Oh, it's really nice. I think when all is said and done, I'm a, a woman for a natural, natural brush. And this is the OR4 Rosemary & Co. One Stroke from the Red Dot Collection. And it's certainly very handy, very convenient. But I do like a natural fibre brush. And in fact, I like the natural fibre brush so much that when I went away for the weekend, just before I'd finished making this video, I brought the limited edition squirrel mop because I really wanted to give it a whirl in a natural situation. And in my mum's house, she had this lovely little vase of flowers and I wanted to see how it would perform. And you know what? I'm really pleased. I like the results. I love using it. And I think I'm going to bring it around with me as my go-to brush along with my OR13. Can't be without that one and my Kalinsky Sable by Roman Schmal. I have a couple of other fabulous travel brushes by Rosemary & Co, but I can't find them at the moment. So what did I use in this video? Paints are by Roman Schmal Aquarius. Brushes, well, you've heard that, Rosemary & Co and Roman Schmal. My pen is by Sailor and it's a 55 degree foodie pen. My ink is Lotta Sketch Ink by Rohr & Klingner. And I've also used Deatramentus Document Brown. And lastly, I use the paper by Hannah Moola, 100% cotton, A6 sketchbook, and I love it. So I wish you happy sketching and I'll see you next time.